Hey, it's Nick Romero, and this is 9 Film Facts for 99 Scenes. Um, well, my my very first show was uh, was actually not under the name Nicky Romero. It was my name Nick, and then the other way around, which was like K C I N. Um, <laughs> it was a very small place in a, in a small village in Holland. But my first real Nicky Romero show, I think, might be on a festival called um, Fuse Festival in Veenendaal. It's a place where I still live now. Um, and then I played some really small bars and everything under the name Nicky Romero but the true show like the ones that we know now was probably EDC Las Vegas in 2012 or 11 I'm not sure the word EDM uh, honestly it doesn't mean a lot to me because we don't use the word in Europe so it's it's something they use in North America a lot um, I know where it stands for I don't use it a lot but the music that is represented by EDM, like the way they look at it here. Um, I don't know. I, for me, I, I don't look at it in a certain way because for me, it's my life. So um, it's what I do every day. It's what I almost want to say. What I dream of. It's what I breathe. It's what I eat. So, what does it mean to me? Everything, because this is what I do. I, I really like Scarlett Johansson uh, because she's a little different than the rest. Um, next to that, yeah, probably like one of the Victoria's Secret girls. They all look stunning. Well, you can get me drunk with any drink because I never drink, and if I drink, I get drunk after two drinks. So, um, could be a beer, it could be a shot, but uh, I think vodka is the easiest. Well, there were people that thought I had a ghost producer. No, I don't have a ghost producer, I produce myself. But, um, no, I don't know. I don't know, I think that's the only room I can think of because a lot of people, to be honest, write positive things, so I'm really lucky that there are not so much funny rumors about me that are not true because a lot of people get are really informed, and especially the, the protocol family, they know everything. They even find pictures I don't know of. So, uh, no, I don't have so much to hide, so I don't know. I think the biggest min misconception about DJs is the fact that people think that we just push buttons. Um, of course we do in fact, that's what people see of us, but the, most people don't know all the effort and everything that you put into it to get to the level where we are now. Um, it's making music, it's traveling the world, it's an amazing experience, at the same time it's very tiring. You have to go through many jet lags, um, you always have to give everything you have, sometimes with only like two or three hours sleep. Um, so that's the other side of being an artist or a DJ, but especially that people think that we only push buttons. I think. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, uh, visual, yeah, visual. <laughs> What's that called? That uh, the boulangerie. <laughs> we have a guy in our in our management. His name is Arno Cost, and we always we always like to. Um, to, to have fun with him, so you always say, we we love I don't know why. <laughs> I think I never, I only celebrated Halloween once. Uh, that was, was I, when I was living in Canada. I lived with my parents in Canada in a while, for a while in Kingston. And I was dressed up as a, as a, as a rabbit, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's no joke. <laughs> I have pictures of this, this is no joke. Uh, it's no joke. I'll, I'll find the picture later on. This is no joke. I was dressed up as a rabbit. It's the only thing.